Hey, what's up? This is Rob, and this is another Security Plus 501 video on helpful tips on passing the certification. Once again, I appreciate all the feedback and positive vibes. I can't say the videos are the most professionally edited, but I'm just shooting the real deal. No fake news here, just giving it to you how you're going to see it on the test, which I think is the most important. Not here to put out these fabulous videos and make them all cute and pretty. So I appreciate everybody uh, with the positive feedback, sending me messages and posting them on the Facebook group website. Uh, just don't forget to please subscribe to the channel so you always get the latest videos right away. Give you a pop-up letting you know that a new one has posted. And please don't forget to leave your comments in the YouTube videos so others that don't belong to Facebook can also uh, read the questions and answers. Today I'm going to jump into some more attacks, seeing like again, this is the most, one of the most popular parts of the test, is being able to differentiate between the types of attacks. Um, I might sound repetitive and I might say this a lot, but you need to find clues that help you remember one from the other, because it might be impossible for some people, not all, but some people to memorize the definition of every single term and acronym. There is a lot on here. So what I try to do is give you um, some clues, tips to help you remember them for when the time the test comes. So what we'll do is we'll jump into a couple today. Um, we'll jump into um, some wireless uh, attacks found on objective 1.2. So evil twin and rogue access point. A lot of people get those confused. The difference between the two of those is if you're at a public uh, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, coffee shop, library, bookstore. Uh, an evil twin will be a replica Wi-Fi connection, SSID, that comes up on the list of available Wi-Fi connections. A rogue access point is a malicious access point that they might word to look like uh, a free Wi-Fi connection for you to click on where an evil twin is, it's a duplicate. So kind of easy to remember, twin, a duplicate, rogue is anonymous by itself. Uh, blue jacking and blue snarfing, a couple of people uh, messaged me about these, the difference in the two of these. Um, blue, see this one's kind of like opposite. You think of jacking, attacking, where blue jacking is more of like, um, spam through Bluetooth or annoying messages through Bluetooth and blue snarfing is the actual attack of accessing your information. So you can think of blue snarfing like surfing, free roaming, go wherever you want, surfing through the waters. An attacker can snarf through your phone, get your contacts, get your con uh, phone books, um, personal information, credit cards stored in, uh, uh, on the phone, uh, where blue jack and don't think of it as attacking because it's not, it's more of a annoyance. Um, NFC is another tricky one. NFC, you'll see a question, um, having to do like with uh, credit card merchants. So you would have, um, attackers sitting in the parking lot of a target or home depot, they're pulling your credit card information while you're inside of Target and Home Depot. When you swipe it on the credit card, those credit card machines go out through near field communication while there's somebody in the parking lot that hijacked that NFC. We have 1.4 explain penetration testing concept. I did see about a half a dozen of these questions on the test, and I also got a lot of feedback from others saying they had. Uh, a hard time differentiating between an active recognizance and a passive. Okay, an active is exactly what it says. It is active. It's going to cause harm. It's going to make changes where a passive is more of a calmer uh, look from the outside, but don't touch type uh, of an attack. So active is an active recognizance. It's getting in there. It's getting uh, information. Okay. Um, same thing with the uh, 1.5 explained vulnerability scanning concepts. Get a lot of feedback about seeing a few of these questions. Okay, credentialed versus non-credentialed. The credentialed is 
a, a credential scan. You need uh, credentials in order to run it. A non-credential could be a more of a um, passive scan where credentialed, you're going to need admin rights in order to run it. Intrusive versus non-intrusive, almost like active and passive. Intrusive is more of on the active side, where non-intrusive is the opposite. It's not intrusive. It's more of a look from the outside type attack. Okay, false positive. Uh, easy way to remember in that is right now with the uh, COVID-19 testings. They're saying a lot of these tests are given false positives. False positive is it's saying that it's a positive of a vulnerability, but it's false. A false negative is bad because it's saying no, there's no coronavirus. No, there is no vulnerability, but yes, there really is. So a false positive is happens a lot. You'll get a false positive scan which is okay. A false negative is not okay because it's saying that it's negative, not harmful, but it's false. So don't forget to use that word false when differentiating between the two. Thanks for watching these videos on objective one, different types of attacks. Stay tuned for the next.